Hello scrappers. Here a couple days back we had a member of the uh, scrap metal recycling talk group ask about uh, some of these fan motors out of some small window AC units. Wondering how much was in them. And uh, so I thought I'd uh, go ahead and tear a couple down do a little video. Uh, just kind of do a comparison here. It's kind of an afterthought. Afterthought of setting this thing up. Thought I'd uh, go ahead and weigh these, kind of give you an idea. Of, I'm not going to do all the math. You still have the wires on them. But get an idea what they weigh. I'm not sure what the going rate is for copper bearing motors. But we got uh, 9 pounds, 15 ounces. Might as well say 10 pounds. So if it's 8 cents a pound, what's that? 80 cents. So other than cutting your wire off, you get about 80 cents at the scrap yard. Scale aside for now. So as far as tearing these down, the way I like to do it, this one's got a Phillips head screw with a little nut on the end. It's a I'll bring this closer to the camera here in a second. I guess I probably could have set the camera a little closer. But as you can see things are sandwiched together, there's two pieces and the screws are bolting them bolting it together now this one here just has little tabs that are folded over so we'll have to straighten those up I had to work today, so come home, worked on my project till it got dark. Okay, that one wants to play hard to get. Okay, I yeah, remember we're scrapping. We're not putting it back together, so the screw strips out, or if we can't get it out. The table's not set up in the normal place, so I have to walk over and pick up tools. People said it had a bad viewing angle. They couldn't really see what I was doing. So, speaking of which, I think I'll try to move this in a little bit closer. Now you can either pry these apart, sometimes they can be a pain, so a lot of times what I do I 
the time you make those cuts and it's not so so tight. Yeah. I missed a screw. I know a lot of people this won't be worth the effort. Some of the, some of you guys got got your hands high up just trying to keep up with your yeah, workload as it is. Here's the way I get my scrap. I run an ad, a little free ad in a, in a little paper. And it keeps me running in the spring and summer. But uh, that ad goes out about 50 mile radius. And uh, I don't really <laughs> want to go after 50 miles out, an hour drive out to get a refrigerator. Summertime, I get these calls. I tell them, well, Give me a couple days, I should have more out your way, and I usually do. And then come the weekend, I can run out there and have a whole trailer load on that 16 foot trailer. knives with a little hook, hook blade, like a lot of guys use for roofing. Said this one had the tabs that were bent over. It worked better with channel locks. Hey, anyway, wife came up and told me earlier no hot water, so I guess tomorrow I got to pull the hot water tank out. Out to the back porch, bring garden hose over, flush all the calcium out of it. Put another element in. I think I got one in there somewhere. That's about an hour job or so. And what I'm doing, I'm making a can cage for all my aluminum cans. I have big uh, wire baskets I put them in. But when I go to take them into the scrap yard, I have to put a bungee strap around them and put a net over it and a bungee strap to keep them from blowing out. So I thought, well, I'll just make a take a bunch of bed rails and uh, weld up the frame, put cattle panels on, and chicken wire. Basic frame of the cage built. And everything except the end doors for I'll be unloading the cans from. I got a top door in it for dumping the cans in.
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to reposition this blade. It barely sticks out of the knife and it's kind of awkward. I haven't really hauled in any scrap for about four years until well, I ran an ad in September and that kept me pretty busy. Ran one in October, but didn't get much calls on it. So, I don't have a whole lot of scrap this winter, but I'm, I'm sure I'll have a, a pile of it next year. Then about four years ago when I had my ad running, I'd get off work in the city, I'd pick up the truckload on the way home, get home, unload the truck, eat dinner, hook up the trailer and go out and pick up another load. Now, running an air chisel, a lot of times I tear up, tear up the workbench. So what I got on here right now is just uh, some of the rubber mat from a treadmill. But I got a part of an old mud lap that I put on that way the air chisel doesn't tear the table up. Hopefully that air compressor won't be quite so noisy when I when it kicks in. I moved it out of the corner here behind me, about where this box fan is sitting. Yeah, I moved it the other end of the shop is about 35 feet away and then it's over on the uh, greenhouse side so there's a basically just a half inch styrofoam wall between it so it'll still be kind of loud probably should have set up my other lights over here to before I started started recording but I think I think we have sufficient light for the video get this all pulled out real quick and we have something I could probably do real fast here pull the scale out yeah, I'll do that later. We can do it later.
the strings off of here, clean them up pretty good. Some guy said their yard doesn't knock, uh, knock them for that, so. I'm gonna try to get these out quick, get a weight so you can kind of see you know, what, it, what it's worth. I guess I want to comment the other day about this little pry bar, and uh, I've had this thing several years, I bought it in a set. I don't remember if there's three or four pry bars in the set. I got it from one of them tool places. What? I don't think it's Harbor Freight. I know there's might have been Steve's tools or Meridian tools. Hey, yeah, once I get it out so far, then... Kind of wondering if GoPro would be a good camera for doing this kind of stuff. Might give you more of a view of what I'm seeing. Okay, so what I'm going to do I'm not sure if you can see that or not Let's yeah, see if I can move it these are getting too much glare. Yeah, you might be able to see it there. Okay, I got that zeroed out right there. Put that copper in there. And we got one pound, 12 ounces. So we get a dollar the other way, we figured, at eight cents a pound, or 80, eight, 80 cents. Here we got one and three quarter, one pound, three, one and three quarter pounds. So, if yeah, it's kind of rounded out to close to, it's be almost two dollars a pound, dollar eighty, something like that. So we got probably two, two fifty maybe, something like that. Two dollars fifty cents. So, <clears throat> of course, there's a little bit of work involved, a little bit of time. 
So, I mean, if you got more loads than you got time, you probably don't want to tear them down. You probably just sell them as is, <coughs> or set a few aside for a slow time. But if you just have a few loads coming in now and then, or busy in the summer, slow in winter, and you have a place to store them, set them aside and, and do them when things are slow. You make a few, you know, a few extra bucks. Uh, the guy that was asking about this, I think he said he had 43 air conditioners with with fans. Yeah, I got a, another one here. It's a lot bigger one. This motor here come out of a window unit too. So there'll probably be a couple pounds in that one by itself. Well, I'll tear that one down another day. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, educational, interesting, uh, go ahead and please subscribe. I could use the subscribers. Uh, share it with your friends. Tell your friends about my channel if you want to see more. Uh, hit that bell. So, I guess that's it for this video. We'll see you later. Keep scrapping, folks.